Listen. Wait for the Lord to reveal something to you. Alam niyo ba na when you ask, God will give? Just ask God. If you haven't tried it, ask God, Lord. Sabi ni Ate Dench, you still talk to people. Lord, I want it. I want to hear your voice. I want to listen to you. I want to see what's what's in here for me. From from this passage, I want to understand if there's a message for me personally. Lord, I want to understand what you want me to do. If you pray that kind of prayer, of course, sasagutin ka ng Diyos. Walang humingi sa Panginoon na tinagyan, lalo na kung ang paghingi mo ayon sa kalooban niya. Babasahin mo yung Matthew 7 hanggang doon sa bandang dulo, makikita ninyo na ang Diyos ang ating Ama na mabuti. Na kung tayo nga raw na mga makasalanan, Ama o magulang, kaya natin magbigay ng pagandang bagay sa anak. Ang Diyos pa kaya? When you approach your Bible study time, your prayer time, bigyan mo naman ng, pasingitin mo naman ng Lord. Huwag mo puro ikaw. Because if you do not listen to God, you will not be able to get what is good. You will not be able to eat what is good. Ang sabi dito, ano sabi sa verse 3? Incline your ear and come to me here and your soul shall live. Hindi lang basta automatic breezing through. Ay, sabi kasi sa, sa church kasi, I need to read my Bible every day. Ah, para lang walang konsyensya. Para lang hindi ba makonsyensya na, Lord, hindi ako nang quiet time. Pero sa totoo lang, nagbasa ka lang ng teksto. Hindi ka nakinig. Hindi ka naghintay ng instruction. Hindi ka naghintay na may ituturo ang Diyos sa'yo. Nagbasa ka lang na para bang comics ang binasa mo. Hindi mo binigyan ng reverence ang salita ng Diyos. Pangalawa, kailangan may understanding ka, comprehension. Una, dapat may communication. Two-way. Pangalawa, dapat may comprehension. Limiin mo, balik-balikan mo ang salita na nabasa mo. Pag hindi mo maintindihan, humingi ka ng wisdom sa Lord. Magpunta ka sa dictionary. Ano ba ibig sabihin nito? Everlasting. Ano ba ibig sabihin nito? Incline. Ano ibig sabihin na incline your ear? Ano ibig sabihin na incline? Hindi mo maunawaan? Unang-una, huwag kang gumamit ng Biblia na hindi mo naintindihan ang wika. Huwag mo pilitin. <laughs> Eh kasi yun lang ang binigay sa akin na Bible sa church. Bumili ka! Kakabili ka nga ng damit na mahal. Bible pa kaya? Amen? Amen! Really? Mm. Sabi nga nila, Char. Incline your ear and come to me. So una, communication. Pangalawa, comprehension. Pangatlo, confidence. Ibig sabihin, habang nagbabasa ka ng Biblia, may mga tao ganito sila magbasa ng Biblia. Pag nagbabasa sila ng Biblia, kapag ka mayroong mga sumpa, mayroong mga pangit, natatakot sila kasi akala nila para sa kanila yun. <laughs> Hindi ganun. You should have a confidence in the goodness of the Lord. Look for the good news. Pero kung ikaw ay talagang makasalanan, meron kang issue sa Panginoon, eh baka talagang para sa'yo yun. Pero kung ikaw naman ay born again Christian, nilinis ang dugo ng Panginoon, Nagbabasa ka ng Biblia, huwag na huwag mo namang akuin yung alam, ginunaw ang Sodom at Gomorrah. Ako, Lord, magugunaw na yata ang buhay ko. Bakit dito mo ako dinala? Lord, ano ba to? Pero, ikaw lang nakakaalam yan, Day. Kung meron kang dahilan, bakit ka dapat matakot? Sunod, confidence in the goodness of the Lord. Sunod, last but not the least, you should have change of heart. Change of heart. Pag nagbabasa ka ng Biblia, it should change you. Amen. May mga ayaw na raw bumalik sa Horizon Church. Habi ko, eh, bakit naman nakakalungkot naman? Ayaw daw nila sa Horizon Church kasi lagi daw sila kinukorek. Sabi ko, ano bang gusto niyo? Pag nalaman ng pastor na may ginagawa kayo hindi ayos, okay yan dahil, sus, mabuti yan. Sige, pagpatuloy mo yan. Pagdating mo na impyerno, magkawayan na lang tayo. Alam nga namang ganun. Di ba hindi ganun? Ate, dapat. <laughs> because I love you, I will tell you, open rebuke is better than secret love. Amen. 
Pero po ako kaibigan na talagang nakipagtalo ako ba? Pinadala na ko ng verse, Open rebuke is better than secret love. Okay, fine. Dito po sa atin, when we are helping you get out of something that is holding you back from really following the Lord, sa simula lang po yan masakit. Ayoko na dyan sa Horizon Church yung mga nagpipreach yan, mga pakialamero. Pati buhay ko, papakialaman. Sus, dahil kung alam mo lang na yung aming sinasabi ay para sa kabutihan mo, sasabihin mo pa, bring it on. Di ba? Kahit masakit. Kahit masakit. Wala naman pong masakit na hindi nagdulot ng maganda. Alam nyo itong sugat ko sa pa? <laughs> Dinudut ito, masakit. Pero dahil nalagyan siya ng yung pagganon sa kanya, masakit kasi kailangan lagyan ng antibiotic. Ngayon, may inaminap na siya. Ang mga gamot, mapakla, mapait, pero nakakabuti. Ang kuya ko na pinag-pray ninyo, inopera sa tiyan, sampung kilo ang kidney. Kasing laki ng unan na malaki ang kidney. Masakit na operasyon, masakit na procedure. Pero praise God, ngayon, okay na siya. Amen. Ang una niya ay pinagpasalamat sa Panginoon. Lord, salamat. Salamat sa Lord kasi hindi na nila ako pagbibintangan na dating manginginom. <laughs> kasi pastor po siya. Pag nagpipreach daw siya, nakakarinig siya ng mga komentaryo. Siguro si pastor dating manginginom. Akala nila beer belly. Kasing laki ng una na malaki ang kanyang kidney. 10 kg na kidney ang kinuha sa kanya. Masakit na operasyon, pero nakabuti sa kanya. Tandaan niyo po, kapag may tatanggalin ng Lord sa inyo, nasasaktan kayo. Pero in the long run, sa kabutihan din ninyo. Amen? Amen? Wala pong naituturo ang masarap eh. Walang naituturo ang masarap. Yes, it's a blessing. Oh, happy, happy. Pero usually, kapag dumadaan ka sa pagtuturo, pagdidisiplina, masakit. Masakit. At hindi mo alam kung kailan natatapos. But the same God who puts you through a discipline will be the same God who will comfort you when you will be hurting during the discipline. Amen. Ang mahalaga, habang dinidisiplina ka, magtanong ka, Panginoon, bakit po ako dumadaan sa ganito? Aralin mo agad ang dahilan para matutunan mo ng mabilis. Dahil kapag mabagal ang pag-aaral mo, ng leksyon na tinuturo sa iyo. Oh, believe me, magtatagal pa yung pagsubok na yan. Aralin mo agad, mayroong bang pinapag-give up ang Lord sa iyo? Mayroong bang pinapagawa? Gawin mo agad para hindi na tumagal ang hirap. Long-term pain is worse. Cut it off. I was once the PR consultant for Cebu Pacific when it first came to Singapore. By profession, I once worked as a marketing consultant. Si Lance Gokongway po ang kausap ko, may ari ng Cebu Pacific. Three months into operations, no, two months into operations, nag-break out ang SARS. Pag pupunta ako ng airport, titingnan ko yung manifesto ng Cebu Pacific because it was my job to promote Cebu Pacific in Singapore during that time, halos umiyak ako sa sahig ng airport dahil nakikita ko sa manifesto, ipapakita sa akin ng mga taga Cebu Pacific sa, sa airport na lilima lang ang aming pasahero dahil sa SARS. But you know what Lance Gokong waited? We had a very big bang kind of, of launching. Pinapunta rito si Martin Rivera, pinapunta rito si Sharon Cuneta. I had a chance to hobnob with them. A lot of other people who were from Manila, lahat ng media sa, sa lahat ng dyaryo sa Maynila, ginastusan. In short, we spent millions of pesos in launching the event. But two months down the road, ganun ka agad. Lance Gokongwe 
He proved to be a very good businessman. He cut his losses early. Maaga. Nakita niya na foresee niya if this would drag on, mas marami pang sakit, mas marami pang sama ng loob. Ngayon pa lang putuli na. This relationship, if you see your relationship not giving you anything, not doing any good for the future, ngayon pa lang dahi, aron di na ka maghilak-hilak sa sunod, putuli mo na. Itong investment na to, if this drags on, malalo lang akong malulubog sa, sa, sa utang, putuli na ngayon. No matter how good it looks right now, no matter how chummy-chummy and how ticklish you feel because you feel young again, you feel alive again, you're in love again, oh my goodness. Sabi nga nung aking kaibigan, Jesus Mary Joseph. <laughs> in English, like Jesus Mary Joseph. Galit ako kay Junar. Uy, Junar, uy, don't, don't call upon the name of the Lord in vain. Don't sa pagkadungan. Oh, oh, Jesus Mary Joseph. Sabi niya, sabi niya, ipokrita ka naman. Di ba, sinasabi ko rin, sinasabi mo rin naman, Jesus Mary Joseph. Ganun din yun. I am from America. I should say, Jesus Mary Joseph. <laughs> Short-term loss. Short-term pain. It hurts. It will hurt. It will hurt. But believe me, when it's over and done with, you'll thank God. You'll thank God that you decided to go through with it. Kaya lang katitigil pag kulubot ka na, kahilas mo po doon eh. Kakadiri ka naman. Kaya lang katitigil pag mayroon ang five lines dito. Char. Tatanda rin tayong lahat. Alam niyo, tatanda rin tayo. Ang masama, ang iba, tumanda na walang pinagkatandaan. <laughs> Always begin something with the end in mind. Always think about the future when you start something. Begin something by thinking about where it will lead. What consequence. Huwag mong pakinggan ang masama. Huwag mong pakinggan ang pleasure of the moment because someday, yung repayment niya, parang credit card niya kasalanan ni. Eh. Sus, kasarap mag-swipe-swipe. Lahat ng gusto kong bag, sapatos. Pagdating ng oras ng bayaran, uy, kadakot na, ilang pabayad. I'm gonna close with one, one verse. Let's go to Isaiah 66, verse 2. Letter B. Isaiah 66, 2, letter B. Let's begin from, but, but on this one will I look. On him who is poor and of a contrite spirit and who trembles at my word. Everybody can read the Bible, anyone, because this is free and available. But God will consider the person who has reverence, who has respect for his word. A lot of people, they read the Bible nonchalantly, without any respect. They treat it like any ordinary literary piece. But if you want the attention, the blessing of God, if you want to eat well, live well, exist well, respect the Word of God. Can we put our right hand on our chest and let us declare, Latayo, everybody in this room, let us declare, Lord, I promise to the best of my ability to respect, consecrate your word in my life. I tremble at your word. I have reverential fear for your word. Lord, help me when my feet lead me astray. Bring me back Bring me back to you. In Jesus' name, amen. God considers those who tremble at his word.
Mahirap po minsan because some people, they don't like to read the Bible. Or when they are able to hear the Word of God, wala silang pakialam, pastor lang yan, preaching lang yan, dami ko nang narinig, pinapatawad din naman ako ng Diyos eh. Hindi mo alam, bawat pagsuway natin sa Panginoon, meron pong kabayaran. Sabi nga ng dati kong, ng nanay ko nung siya pa'y buhay, dahil dumduma gayon, ang sa dili mo ragsili nga muhalang na yun. Tandaan mo raw anak, sabi niya, ang kasalanan, hindi parang sili, naaanghang ka agad. So let us meditate on the Word of God. Your assignment is to meditate on Joshua 1.8 and the whole of Psalm chapter 1. And the whole of Deuteronomy 28. Now, at home, please practice listening to the voice of God. You won't be able to listen to the voice of God kung katabi mo ang telepono mo. Especially if you're not using your phone as your Bible. If you're using your phone as your Bible, okay lang nasa tabi mo yan. But if you're using a printed Bible, begin to read the Bible every day na walang ibang distraction. And buy a notebook that you can use as your journal. Amen. Let's all stand. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. In your presence, in the presence of God, there is liberty, there is peace. Thank you, Lord. Let us sing that song. In your presence, in your presence, there is peace. In your presence, there is joy. Let me linger, let me stay. In your presence, stay my day. Who wants to linger? Stay in the presence of God. Yes, come on, let's raise our hands to Him. He knows what's in your heart. If you're broken, if you are tired of life, Just come to God. Just offer everything to Him. And as we linger in His presence, forget the person next to you. Forget that you're inside this church. Just you and God. If you want to kneel, if you want to, whatever you want to do for the Lord, thank you, God. Just do it for Him. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.